everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the end of the month readings for April 2020 and I wanted to um, go along the lines of spiritual messages because with everything that's going on at the moment in the world um, I just thought it would be nice to get some messages from the other side so to speak and I have bought my crystal ball in uh, for this reading because I've had this for over 20 years um, and it is a traditional crystal ball and I absolutely love working with it if I do one-to-ones with clients because all I can say, um, when you use a crystal ball it's called, you have to scry the actual um, wording for it and all I can say is to describe it to you, when you scry into this, right, into a crystal ball or you can do it in water, if you've never tried scrying um, and you are into tarot card reading and everything else, then it is worth a try because um, I got into it, like I say, about 20 years ago and it took a while for me to learn the technique but when I actually got the technique, um, it was amazing. It's just, to me, it was like looking at a cine film. Black and white pictures um, were coming through uh, on the actual, you know, through the actual glass. So that's the, um, what I'm going to be doing today is using the crystal ball. And the cards I will be using um, for the messages are the spirit messages from John Holland. So I bought these into play today. I'm also using the um, Whispers of Healing Oracle cards, and that's by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. And I'm also using the Energy Oracle cards. These are quite a new deck to me, and these are by Sandra and Taylor. So that's just a little intro, so you know what I will be doing today, my lovelies. So my lovelies, I'm now going to be uh, reading for the lovely Capricorns. So Caps, I'm just going to move your card out the way, okay? And we'll start shuffling and see uh, what we've got. Spiritual messages coming in for Capricorn. If I can have, and I feel like that one wants to come out there. And we have flow, okay, for the energy. And... I am just going to pull out the other card to marry up with this, okay? So, and I feel that wants to come out as well. They're just poking out for you today, Caps. So we have Angel of Balance, okay? And Flow. So the Spirit messages that are coming uh, for you, the message from Spirit, is saying here, um, there's been some emotional times of late, okay? It's been hard going as well for some of you. Some of you as well have got yourself entangled into some situations um, where you feel stuck at the moment and not really sure, sort of a crossroads, okay? And Spirit are saying um, you're getting yourself caught up in too many things that, you know, that, you, that shouldn't really concern you. I've also got on this flow card here, okay, if I bring it down a bit, sorry guys. It's as though the scenario of uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Whoever I'm picking up with here, okay, with the Capricorns, it's literally saying as we go into the end of April, beginning of May, it's like you're resurfacing and it's that light at the end of the tunnel scenario. So, you, you know, it's like this is saying what you've been uh, caught up in, the issues that you've been dealing with. There's been areas of your life where you've just felt... Um, things haven't been flowing as such, okay? But as we go in to the end of April, beginning of May, it's saying now that things are going to start to flow in your favour. And spirits are saying that they are around you to bring balance, okay? Balance back into your life. Um, because I feel, whoever I'm connecting with on the Capricorns, on the general collective here, that... You know, things have been sort of a roller coaster up one minute, down the next, up one minute, down the next. A very rocky terrain <laughs> that you've been dealing with, okay? But it's saying here, and, and as I said, I know I'm picking up with somebody here who's got themselves entangled in, in a messy situation. Now, this could be to do with a relationship or it could just be to do with um, 
just things in general where you've just got yourself caught up in somebody else's business okay that's dragged you in okay you, you sort of been lured into something that you didn't want to get involved in and now you're in too deep thinking oh my god I've ever got myself involved in this I said I'd help somebody and then it's just it's like um, a spider's web it's got just grown further and further out okay and then it's like you've helped one person and they've, they've, they've you know you sort of branched out and then oh can you do you know can you help us out here and it's just spiraled out and it's got too much okay and it's been too much for you to deal with and cope with and it's saying here spirit is saying to you um there's light at the end of this tunnel okay you've got to detach yourself you have to break the spider's web so to speak and um bring it back to to uh what's important to you and that's why the angel of balance with the blue as well in these cards my lovelies it's been an emotional time uh, for the Capricorns of the last couple of months and it's saying some of you are getting your wings back okay literally getting your wings back and um, feeling that you could you know um, deal with things in a more positive uh, um, outlook really having a more positive outlook on your future okay because as I said um, I just feel that areas of your life um, have been taken over or been controlled um, by other sources and it's saying here you have got to get grounded uh, back yourself and literally uh, get your wings back okay now this could be on a on a health issue as well some of you could have had health issues where it's caught you up in the spider's web and you felt like you haven't been able to venture back out you haven't um been able to do the things that you wanted to do even if it was just in your garden like this time of year and you were really busy in doing your planting and everything else and and, and you've been caught up in the spider's web thinking i can't even do that okay but it's saying from spirit you are coming it's light at the end of the tunnel okay things are getting back on a more even keel the emotional um issues that you've been dealing with okay it could have been a release for some of you um where you know you've had this phase in your life where you have sort of been cleansing yourself and, and, and dealing with issues okay but it's saying here spirit are aware of what's been going on and the key uh, importance is the new moon okay there's a new moon here and it's going to be a new phase so let's just have a look at the john holland cards just to see what spiritual message comes out um to tie in with this reading for you caps so let's have a look what we've got I just feel some of you, um, you know, will will be trying to connect with nature as much as you possibly can, uh, as well, um, at, around these times at the end of April going into May. But it's just saying like the 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 rocky terrain that you've been over, um, that is going to start to ease off, and you will get this balance back. Okay, and I do feel as well, I want to say, because I'm in the pyramids on the Angel of Balance, there's a secret, okay, Spirit are telling me, there's a secret, um, there's going to be some information divulged to some crap that comes out there, uh, that it's like a truth, a truth is going to be uh, discovered or found out about somebody, that um, there's, there's a trust element here that I feel Spirit is saying to you, be careful who you're trusting. Um, because I just feel there's 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 the hidden truth here. Um, I'm not saying it could be it could be lies that have been told to you, but there's just something an element about a person you've met recently. There's some secrets locked within that over time um, will be you know divulged to you. But you'll be quite surprised about this information that you, you didn't expect. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that element into it. So we've got receive okay you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others but now it's time for you to learn how to grace graciously receive just as with the ebb and flow of the tides the art of giving and receiving is a natural law and order of the universe so the cards they amaze me guys because as i said some of you have got caught up in your spider's web by helping others and it's saying here because because you are kind and love a loving soul who constantly reaches out to give to others but now it's time 
to learn how to graciously receive yourself and this is being kind to yourself here and giving the gifts uh, back to you at, the, at this time because as I said um, some of you have literally got yourself caught up before um, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and it's just a message from spirit to say look yeah you are a giving and loving person and it's hard for um, some of the Capricorns out there to receive it's, oh no it's okay I'm okay but it's the universe is saying here no it's time for you to be on the receiving end here okay so I hope you can take some of the elements of those little messages there so what I'm going to do now is just connect uh, with the crystal ball just to see if I get any spiritual messages come through for any Capricorns they're not going to resonate with everybody I just have to get with what I um, who I connect with through here so I'm going to go quiet for a second okay just while I connect with the crystal ball and see what we have for you Capricorn Okay, I've got a name pop straight out to me and it's an old fashioned name and it's called Martha. And that's an unusual name, it's not a common name, Martha. So I've got that name, let me just get a little bit more of this lady. Okay. She's given me the name of Wayne and Wayne is here on the earth plane. And she's concerned at the moment about this Wayne. Uh, I'm going to say Yeah, she's saying she's a bit concerned because um, of who he's mixing with at the moment. She's mentioning drugs here, okay? Now, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but real concerns here about um, a connection. Now, whether this Martha is connecting with this Wayne, if it's a grandson link, okay, along those lines, or whether wayne is the son and it's the child that relates to the wayne if if that makes any sense guys to anybody out there okay i've got the name christine as well and i feel christine is coming through also in spirit so let me just see what we have here right christine passed suddenly with a heart attack and she was around 63 64 years of age and she's given me the She's giving me uh, the UK is uh, where she's coming from, okay? I'll... She wants to mention Suffolk. I don't know why I get Suffolk, but I'm getting Suffolk. So I'm getting that area, whether she was brought up in that area or grew up in that area or born in that area. Christina, do you want to connect with my lovely? Okay, she's giving me the name of Stephanie and David. Christine, why do you want to connect to them today? Okay, they're, they're related. Stephanie and David are actually brother and sister, okay. Okay, and Christine is saying um, there's just some concerns at the moment with David for his health. Okay. And you're that. Okay. It's just a message from the Christine to say that she's around David at the moment because he's got these health issues. Okay. 
but obviously she's saying that things will get sorted out there but there's a, it's an area to do with the leg on the David okay okay And obviously his sister is helping him. Okay, yeah. Okay, my lovely. I've also got a Robert coming through now. And Robert wants to connect Okay, and I've got the name Stephen. And I feel Robert and Stephen were brothers. Okay, and there's issues around Stephen as well at the moment. Okay, Robert is showing me a house that Stephen is looking at buying at the moment and he's just a bit concerned of this of this property he's, he's he's getting quite angry <laughs> okay okay so the message from robert to stephen is um he's not happy about this property move at all so obviously i'm just passing the messages on okay And there's a dog with this Robert. I've got an Alsatian. So whoever I'm um, attaching with here, it's um, he would have had an Alsatian dog, this Robert would, because the dog's just appeared. So, okay, thank you. Okay. So my lovelies, I just want to thank them for coming through. Thank you. Okay, I just want to um, say that obviously these messages, I've got no control. If you can imagine, I'm just, it's like um, opening a door and everybody's standing behind the door waiting to come in and when you connect with spirit. And sometimes you just get that they're all talking at once and you just sort of have to, <laughs> in a spiritual sense, turn to them just one at a time. So I hope somebody can take some of those messages on board, okay? It's hard when I'm doing it on... Um, on the channel so to speak because when you're doing a one-to-one -one, obviously you can go in a bit more depth and connect with the person's energy who is in front of you so i do hope that some of you can take those little messages on board today uh, my lovely capricorns so as it says go with the flow with the spiritual message okay don't get yourself caught up in other people's issues it's time to look after yourself for a change okay and just be mindful of these secrets that this person i feel who um is not being truly honest or there's some information that is going to be coming to the forefront here there's hidden secrets locked with a new person that is um you're, you're connecting with uh, capricorn okay i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's just to be aware that um there's a lot more to this uh, connection than the uh then they're actually showing you at the moment so my lovely caps i'm going to leave that with you and until next time my lovelies take care of yourself bye then